I'm a senior research scientist in Department of Surgery and US. I was 13 years old actually. I was with my mom watching um, news and they were actually inter interviewing a scientist from NUS. So at that time, you know, being young and I was asking my mom like, what is uh, a scientist, you know, what do they do, that kind of thing. So my mom sat down and explained to me and I find that that kind of career was like kind of interesting because it is one of the subjects that allows you to explore the natural world, you know, you can learn things about it and you can appreciate the creation uh, that God has created for human beings. So I'm heading uh, the myocardial restoration uh, lab. So what I do there is basically we are testing and developing biomaterials and stem cells to come up with new technologies that are basically uh, treatment or therapies for patients with heart failure. I felt that that purpose of me being a scientist um, with the potential future of helping other people is only achieved after I become a scientist. Not when I was a student trying to be a scientist. Yeah. So I felt that it was after I become a scientist and I felt that I could be in that position to actually help the less fortunate in the community. I always felt that, you know, if, if you put 101% effort into whatever you do and your constant supplication to Allah to help you to assist in this journey, highly likely guaranteed that you will achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah. I actually kind of like have a mantra for myself. Yeah. Basically is that you will never approach anything near to excellence if you always settle for mediocrity. Being successful, right, to each person is a different definition. My definition of success may be different from somebody else. So for the young ones, they might have their own definition of success. So they don't, if they feel that being successful does not necessarily mean you have to be excellent in what you do, then it's fine. But you should remember that in Islam, right, you have to strive for excellence. You, you just try your best. It's the thing, the key is you have to put in your effort. The challenge that I felt for working women at least till now is still how they actually balance between being a supervisor, boss or manager at work and then versus being a daughter, wife or a parent at home. So I felt that that's the biggest challenge still. I feel that once um, you set your mind in doing something, there's three things you need to keep in your mind which is you do that with um, passion. You need that. And then you need to do it with discipline and also with the conviction that you're supposed to do this or you really want to do this. So those are the three key things that I think um, women should keep in mind. And also one thing is that um, women should really learn their true sense of self. Once they learn that, right, they will not be easily affected by how society uh, view them, you know, society's perception, for example. So, knowing the true sense of yourself is really, really important. Women are special, at least in the context of uh, leadership. They have really unique qualities as leaders, which include nurturing qualities, they have stronger interpersonal skills between people. So these are the kind of uh, leadership qualities that will really be useful to make a difference in the world.